your energy forecast for Monday, July 22nd. So we have the moon in Aquarius energy all day, which is kind of interesting, seeing as we are about to move into Leo season. Of course, Leo and Aquarius energy, they share an axis in the zodiac wheel. The Leo energy is the heart and soul of the zodiac, what makes us unique and individual, while the Aquarius energy has us sharing those talents and skills, our authentic self with the world around us. And so we are kind of finishing up the very last degrees of the sun being in cancer energy, which of course, we're still in the full moon energy. We're still kind of acclimating to Mars being in Gemini energy. This is the energetic storm that we have been in since technically Friday. And essentially speaking, we are ushering cancer season out. I know many people are very happy about that. There's going to be a totally different mood, totally different attitude taking over once the sun moves in his rulership in this Leo energy. So I'm going to encourage you to take a listen to the astro forecast that I put out here for Leo season. If you haven't listened to your July Zodiac forecast, take a listen to understand where the Leo season is going to impact your life the most. And of course, download the Leo season e-guide that is really going to help you navigate, stay ahead of these energies for the month coming at us. So Monday is ruled over by the moon. We're still very much in the full moon energy because of course we just had that full moon in Capricorn at the 29th degree pop off yesterday morning. And so we're kind of still in it there's still some epiphanies, there's still some realizations that need to happen that will be unfolding in the next coming of days slash weeks, because of course, we're in this cycle until the next full moon, which happens to be an Aquarius energy towards the end of Leo season. And we are really just kind of sitting back, we are waiting for the final hurrah, we're waiting for the energy to pick up, we're waiting for the energy to shift. So there is going to be, I'm going to say a little bit of a choppiness to the day here today, just because, again, we're kind of closing out cancer season, having some planets at the 29th critical karmic degree is always a little bit of a pressure of an intensity. And of course, we are shifting into a brand new vibe. Very happy, very thankful for that. So with all of that being said, there are 11 different aspects popping off here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. Before we get into any moon aspects, we have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac, making a very positive interaction with Mars. Mars is the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, fresh in this Gemini energy. So again, still kind of adjusting to this particular mindset, this particular, I'm going to say, trigger and activation where new passions, new excitements are definitely being realized. We're in planning and strategizing mode. But of course, Venus is the divine feminine energy. Mars is the masculine divine energy and having them interact in such a way that is taking place here today, especially with the Leo energy that Venus is in, the Gemini energy that Mars is in, that is fire and air. And what we get with fire and air are some amazing aha moments. Now, I'm going to kind of continue this because we have Venus and Mars and Saturn doing a little bit of a cha-cha-cha dance here, which is really going to help us throughout the day. So just back burner this particular energy of harmonizing within ourselves, new wants, new needs, new desires, especially where creative passions are concerned, where romantic type of dreams and visions are concerned, and overall, just a new goal, a new level of ambition. So Venus goes ahead and she makes a positive interaction with Saturn. So Saturn being the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations. He's retrograde in this Pisces energy. Again, we're kind of breaking down the old systems, breaking down the old routines, the old dreams, the old visions, the old belief system. And in that space, we are building up something new. So Venus and Saturn working together, we are in the heart and soul of our, let's call it passions and desires, okay? Venus in this Leo energy, she's real, she's raw, she's vulnerable, she's authentic, she's bold, she's brave, she's courageous. But now we're starting to take a good look at what we wanna build from here. Now, not that this is a Debbie Downer situation at all, because again, Venus is being kind of in a good placement, 
Saturn's being aspected in a good way. So we're not bringing, you know, the mean girls out to play. But what we are going to do is we're going to start reflecting back on our relationship patterns and dynamics because we have to figure out where it is that we could do better where it is that we can improve we have to be building ourselves up in self-confidence in self-esteem in order for us to actually start building this new foundation this new routine this new structure this new vision goal and dream for us to actually manifest for us to actually pursue but a lot of what we're trying to build here is kind of based off of what hasn't worked so well in the past. And so we have a beautiful opportunity right now to get to the heart and soul of the matter, to get to the truth of our heart space of what it is that we actually want to do, what we want to build, what we want to create, what we want to pursue from here. But we have to look back and use what didn't work out so well as a reference, as a guide, as a framework. So the moon in the absolute just position in this Aquarius energy to fight for freedom, to fight for liberation, to fight for solutions, to fight for, let's just call it improvement and betterment all around. The moon is going to be making a positive aspect with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. And so this is a beautiful growth. Like we are seeing ourselves from a different lens, from a different set of eyes, from a different perspective, this new version of self, especially we're tapping into a new strength, a new confidence, a new worth within ourselves. And because of this, because we're building ourselves up, because we're feeling pretty good about what we're kind of realizing as far as aha moments and epiphanies go, this is really going to help us anchor in, ground in this new version of self and therefore new wants, new needs, new desires. 3.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun is moving into his rulership in Leo energy. This is a major shift. We love this for us. This is a fixed fire sign. This is going to provide us with stability. It's going to free us from a lot of the heavier emotions that many of us are just oversaturated with because of cancer season. Again, listen to the forecast, download your e-guide, get all of the things because we are about to really bust out and blossom in this newest version of self. A continuation here with this Venus, Mars, Saturn saga, Mars is now going to be making a positive interaction with Saturn. So Mars is just fresh in this Gemini energy. If you want to go ahead, take a listen to that astro forecast, just to kind of refresh and remind yourself of what we're doing here. We're talking planning. We're talking strategizing. We're talking down to the nitty gritty of what we have to build, what we have to create in order to house the gold, the vision, the dreams that we're now wanting to manifest. Saturn, he rules over structures and foundations. He's retrograde, so we're moving inward to actually see where a new goal, new vision, a dream is actually being born or rebirthed within us. And this is an absolute beautiful energy for us to get a plan together, for us to start organizing our thoughts, our feelings, our ideas, our execution, if you will, when it comes to the path, the plan, the strategy that we're now wanting to actually pursue. There is this element where we do have to be a little bit patient. And of course, that is not Mars's strong suit at all. He wants to act on impulse, but Saturn is going to pump the brakes there and say, you know what? We know better. Therefore, we have to do better. Therefore, you need to sit your ass down in order for us to have a plan, a strategy put into place before you go out taking action, making moves all willy nilly. We're starting to realize that even though many of us weren't born with patience, it's the baby steps that are actually helping us to form a path right now. Yes, it's slow and steady. Yes, we may have to make short term sacrifices in order to actually get those long term gains. May I remind you, it's not the speed that is important. It's the direction and baby steps 100% count. The moon in Aquarius energy, then going to try and beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in Gemini energy. So this is air on air action. We love air on air action because this is intellect. This is logic. This is practicality. This is ideas. This is communication. This is understanding some of the downloads, some of the visions that we've already kind of been privy to, but we haven't been able to make sense of. This is going to help kind of boost our confidence, boost our self-esteem. This is going to put us in a very optimistic 
perspective, mood, and attitude. We're really starting to see the options and opportunities that we have ahead of us right now for us to grow, for us to expand on some ideas, on some structures, on some aspects that we just started scratching the surface of. The moon is going to go ahead, though, and directly oppose Venus. Venus, of course, in this Leo energy, Aquarius energy, Leo energy, they sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. Here's the thing. We're all up in the fields with Venus in Leo energy, and we're emotionally detached with the moon in Aquarius energy. Reason being, we can't get too close to the situation. We have to act as the observer. Therefore, we can't have... I'm going to say a predetermined want, need, or desire to see things in a certain way. While Venus, on the other hand, she is in the heart and soul of what it is that she wants, what she needs, what she desires. And so the opposition here is that one part of us is too much into the feels, wanting these, I'm going to say, big, grand moves to be made in order to kind of create a realm and reality that looks good, that feels good. Again, patience not on our side here. Well, the moon in Aquarius just wants us to pause. Like it's great to be able to identify what we want, what we need, what we desire, what we want to build, what we want to create. But we have to have patience. We have to just realize that there are new passions and excitements kind of, you know, coming alive within us. But we have to have the patience to step back, to see, to observe where it is that we could be making some moves. We have to come up with a plan. We cannot be acting on impulse. So then the moon is going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Neptune. Neptune, of course, retrograde in his place of power in this Pisces energy at the 29th critical crisis degree. So this is a situation where we're kind of torn between our intellect versus our intuition. What we know to be true versus what we believe to be true. What we want to happen versus what we think could happen. Again, the Aquarius energy is this, you know, highly intelligent energy. It connects us with the higher realms of intelligence. It's where we get downloads. It's where we get visions. But we do use the mental plane, although the higher form of our mental plane, in order to sort through that information, process the pros and cons from it. But we're very, very much trying to, again, push logic and practicality into the situation while Neptune on the other hand wants us to be hopeful wants us to be you know really pouring into these new hopes new wishes new dreams so there's a little bit of disconnect we could find ourselves in a state of confusion because of course we don't know what part of us we should be leaning into at this present moment and it can be a little bit overwhelming too. Um, again we are in some major energy shifting here and things aren't as stable as we need them to be and so there is a part of us that's trying to rush the process while the other part of us knows that the only way to actually be successful at this point in time is to slow down to have patience put one foot in front of the other because again baby steps count the moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Saturn. So Saturn is a co-ruler to the Aquarius energy with Uranus, of course. And this is a little bit of an intensity because the moon, of course, in Aquarius energy, emotionally detached from the situation in order for us to act as the observer to see the bigger, broader picture here. We're focused on what needs to be kind of improved, what we could do better. Um, we're also, because the moon in Aquarius attempts to problem solve a lot of the blockages, challenges, and restrictions that we would have been illuminated to while the moon was in Capricorn energy. The moon interacting with Saturn in this way, yes, does bring a little bit of a serious tone, a little bit more of a somberness to us because we have to get serious about what we need to do in life here. Our to-do list is very long. The to-do list is at the first part, what we have to kind of clean up, what we have to kind of provide an ending and a closure to as far as the old karmic chapters, the old version of self, the old realm of reality goes. And then the other part of the do-do list is how we're going to gain momentum towards the goal, the vision, the dream. And so we're getting a little bit laser focused here. We have a lot of quote unquote, planning and strategizing energies being activated here today. And this is definitely one of those aspects. The moon in Aquarius, then going to sextile, beautiful, beautiful interaction with Chiron. So again, Chiron being the wounded healer, we're not sitting in the wounds, we're sitting in the healing. 
We're sitting in the growth. We're sitting in our ability to see where it is that we could do better, where it is that we can improve, not only within ourselves, but within our physical realms as well. We are much more open to kind of learning from the people from the world around us. We are much more eager beavers, if you will, to actually give ourselves credit where credit is due. We've come a long way. There are some triumphs that we have not celebrated as of yet. And because this new version of self is becoming more and more strong, more and more anchored in, more and more grounded in this physical realm, we're actually starting to feel capable of doing some of the hard things that just a couple of days ago, we didn't have the energy for. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Aquarius energy semi-squaring, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with that North Node in Aries energy. So that North Node is trying to get us on the right path. It's trying to show us where it is that, you know, we need to go from here. It's trying to get us in this new direction in order for us to meet thyself in its most complete form. And so the tension here is that basically there's a visionary energy that comes with Aquarius energy. And of course, that North Node is about the vision of the future. But right now, we're really just not in alignment with the moves that need to be made. Again, a lot of planning and strategizing energy coming at us, especially with Mars now in Gemini energy. We've just scratched the surface of our ideas of our options, of the different variables, different paths, different directions. We do need to spend a little bit more time coming up with a good plan with a strategy before we're going to take any action, before we're going to make any moves. So this particular tension point, yes, we want to think about the future, but we don't want to think about it and be so tunnel vision on it that we forget to clean up the mess of the past. That is really going to block us and hinder us from making as much progress as we want to make, especially when we're given the green light, go ahead to do so.